Hey guys, welcome to Home Setting Through Our Eyes. We are taking this dry sink and turning it into an off-grid wet sink for our kitchen. So we just picked up this dry sink on Facebook Marketplace. It's was it's an antique. It has some problems here and there. Um, stinks really badly. It smells real bad. So that's what the white stuff is. It's actually baking powder. No, it's actually baking soda and it's supposed to help absorb some of the smell. So I went ahead and dusted everything with it. I'll have to vacuum that out. You think it's baking soda anyway. People we got it from are big partiers. Ha ha ha. I put the baking soda in. Um, next step is we're going to wipe the whole thing down with vinegar. It's already sitting in the sun. Try to get this thing smelling nice, looking nice. Then we'll show you how we're going to turn this part, which is the dry sink part, into an actual sink. By cutting a hole in, putting the sink in, and adding our makeshift plumbing situation. So we're going to get work cleaning it and we'll keep you updated on all the progress. So we have our vinegar mixture here, a little bit of water. Um, you can go uh, full vinegar, but we cut it a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna give it a really good, really wet, really sopping, good scrub down. This thing stinks. Hopefully, uh, we just watched a little YouTube video and it said that you put it in the sun afterwards. And it's getting sunny these next couple days here. And hopefully it'll bake any of the stink out. Anything dead in there, or growing, or moldy, or bacteria, or whatever. Kitty's always interested. Hey guys, we're back. It's about two weeks since our last shot and it's been sitting outside on our deck in the sun for the last two weeks with the baking powder still all in it. I just cleaned out the bottom here with the baking powder and gave it another quick rinse down with some tea tree oil and a little lemon essential oil and let me get a smell here i can smell that lemon essential oil here's the problem area yeah no it smells pretty good now way better than it did i couldn't even get within a foot of it without really smelling it so that definitely worked uh, being outside and in the sun helps tremendously. If it was going to rain, we would throw this tarp on top of it. But it's been pretty dry, so it's pretty much just been sitting out like this. So next step is we are going to do some feed and wax, wood polish and conditioner. Um, this is kind of like a natural way to help the wood stay preserved and look good, restore it. Um, it's actually something that we had bought a long time ago, never even opened. So that's kind of the reason why we're using it. There might be other things to use, but um, we're gonna give it a try. And I'll put that coat on for you and see if we can see a difference. And we're back. We got the first coat of wax on and we'll, we might be giving it another coat of wax here in a little while, but give this one a little time to do its thing so we'll move on with the project we have our sink here very nice pretty solid and we have our pump I'll put the link to this in the description below it's a pretty cool little handy tool so what we do here just take the sink and you flip it over uh, 
I had already made the marks, so I'm trying right now to just to find where I, I wanted it. Um, you kind of figure out where you want it. What I had done is I went underneath and I looked to see if there was any support bars or beams or anything. And the only supportive structure underneath these pieces of wood is about a one and a half inch bar along the side, the back, and this side. And then I also made sure to watch out for those bars while picking my lo location for the pump. All I did was take this pump, uh, I guess I'll call it a gasket, it's not really a gasket, but take this pump piece off, put it where I wanted it, pinned it down, and then took a pencil and made a ring. You can see it now. I also did the same thing for the sink, made the ring. So what I did next is came through and I, you know, you can't cut out the exact circle because you need the lip to catch. So what I did was measure the lip to the bowl and I think I came up with about an inch. So I decided to come in three quarters of an inch from the main line to have a three quarter inch lip that'll catch this sink all the way around. Um, you could have made it a little more snug, a little more exact, but the sinks usually come with mounting brackets. Um, as long as you have enough supporting structure around that sink, these brackets will hold it in place. So you, as I said, you come an inch in, or uh, three quarters of an inch in, <clears throat> and then make your marks at north, south, east, west, and then chop those in half, make your center mark, chop those in half again, make two more lines, and then you could even go further and, and keep making lines all the way around. Um, you could measure in three quarters of an inch and move your ruler along. We should have just had a ruler. <laughs> should I get a ruler? make your marks and then connect those lines all the way around and then you'll have a three quarter inch lip that your sink will catch. You do the same thing with this guy. Put it in place you want it. Make your original line. I don't think I said that now with that, but you, you can take that, that out. Mm -hmm. And then do the same thing. Uh, for this, I measured from the outside of this this uh, outside ring kind of to this inside ring and hopefully this uh, will kind of be able to smush down in there um, I made it wide enough for, for to I made it wide enough for this to fit pretty snugly so as I said hopefully we can get it down in there if not I'll just maybe sand away from the hole until this fits snugly down in there in order to start the process you just need some drill bits. What we're going to do is make any sort of hole pretty much anywhere near the inside line. Then go ahead, throw your jigsaw in there, and follow the line you made with no battery. <laughs> So we're just getting done cutting the hole out. I went around and sanded the edges a tiny bit, not too much. Don't really need to worry about it. The sink will cover it. And here it is. You can go underneath and use these brackets and secure it. Next we're gonna go ahead. Next we're gonna go ahead and cut this circle out and install the pump. a little uh, tight here in the corner uh, there's better tools to work with stuff like this uh, I only had this guy so in order to try to get these pieces I had to work at it had to use a drill bit and drill some areas out and then use a sander 
use some sanding. So uh, we'll see how this fits down in there. Seems like it's in there pretty good. That's in there really good. pipe and the water to the bottom and now you have your little sink with some water coming out and so we're gonna move it inside well we're gonna clean it up give it a last clean first move it inside and uh, show you the end results We're inside and we got our sink and our drain which we had to buy separately to fit this sink and we also have our flexible camper drain um, so the next step is to simply line this up I already kind of lined it up made the mark for the hole I'm going to cut a hole out for this to fit down into, and then we should be good to go. So a bucket in the bottom, have this go into it, good to go. Alright, we have the sink situated in the kitchen where we want it. And we are just finishing up the last couple touches here to make it functional. So we have that camper hose here that comes down now through the drawer. And we have our two water buckets. One of them is going to be our fresh water bucket. One of them is going to be our gray water bucket, our dirty water. So make sure you probably label those up. So let me show you how this works. These are just typical water containers that you can get pretty much anywhere. I think we got this at Walmart. It's, it's really simple to use. They're going to come with a spout on them. You're not going to need the spout for this. So we're going to take the spout right off. This comes with a little cap on it. Get the cap off. And then it's going to go right into right into here makes a nice seal no problems keep going there and then seal it right onto here now for the pumping action you need some kind of <coughs> piping that will fit your your nozzle up here um, comes through down here into the drawer again and that's where we would attach this piping to. The piping would again go down into our clean water pump, our clean water tank, and then a simple pumping action would bring the water up, pressure, comes out, goes into the drain, into the dirty water. Once this is emptied, do not put more water into it until you dump your dirty water, otherwise you're going to have a mess. Simple off-grid sink. Didn't cost us very much at all. And it's very functional. So thanks for watching our video and stay tuned for some more great content coming your way. Peace.